You sold my house without telling me? Mom's bank accounts have been emptied? Her things piled into a truck and taken away? What's going on, Jacob? You're moving into a retirement home. It's all been settled. What? You're putting me in a home? Why? Because you give me power of attorney, Mom, and this is the right thing to do. That was a precaution in case I became extremely ill. I'm still independent. Jacob, I hosted the family dinner two months ago. How could you be so heartless? Stay out of this, Mary. This doesn't concern you. I had to step in before you left us with nothing. Step in? What mom does with her own money is none of your concern. I've always been good with my money. Oh, really? Then what the hell is this? $200 for the Children's Foundation for the Blind? They're a wonderful foundation. I've been volunteering there for years. Huh? Well, what about this vacation you took in the fall to Graceland? I mean, you stayed in a four-star hotel. You know how much I love Elvis. Oh. I've been planning this trip my whole life. And now it, you're going to hold it against me? You know what? I don't have to answer to either of you. Legally, this money is mine now. Over my dead body. Oh, well, don't take it from me. Take it from Dr. Frank, who signed an affidavit confirming mom's mentally unfit. Dr. Frank? You mean your old college roommate? Yes. You're disgusting. I know exactly what you're doing. You want mom's money all to yourself and you'll do anything to get it. Well then why don't you take me to court and prove it? Oh no, that's right. You're a single mom and you're poor. Jacob, don't talk to your sister that way, son. Won't you allow me to live my, my old age comfortably? Well, maybe you should have thought about that before wasting my inheritance on stupid charities and fancy vacations. Oh. Mom? Oh, I don't, I don't feel so good. What the hell are you doing calling an ambulance? Mom's not doing so well since her stroke and she's not getting the care she needs. Between holding a job, taking care of my son and caring for mom 24 seven, I'm just exhausted. She needs her money, Jacob. Well, if she's expecting a five-star resort, you're more than welcome to chip in. I live in a tiny apartment with my son. I can barely- Well, maybe you should have thought about that and worked a little harder instead of getting pregnant by some deadbeat who left you. Hello? Yes, yes. Great. But how much would it be if the hot tub was installed in ground? All right, yeah. Okay, and that includes the brass fixtures, right? Perfect. That sounds fantastic. All right, thank you. Thanks for calling. All right, thanks, bye. You only get one mother, and what you do next will define the rest of your life. I'm begging you, do the right thing. Get the hell out of my office. Hello? Yes, I'm her daughter. What's going on? <laughs> Welcome. Let me begin by expressing my deepest condolences on the passing of your dear mother. As discussed, we're here to settle all matters pertaining to the estate of Miss Edith Bradshaw. There's nothing here to discuss. All of her assets already have been transferred to me. That's true. However, there is still an outstanding matter regarding the estate of Preston Bradshaw. What? But dad died 12 years ago. Your father included a clause in his estate that would only be activated upon the passing of his wife, your mother, Edith. Okay, can you hurry this along? 
I have contractors coming at my house in about an hour. Your father left me with a letter that he wanted me to share with you. God. A letter from dad? The letter reads to my precious children, Jacob and Mary. I pray this finds you well and living in harmony. No. Yeah. To Mary, you've always been passionate, sometimes a little too passionate. But you lead with your heart and your love for your family has always inspired me. To Jacob, you've always been intelligent and driven and sometimes you let your selfishness get the better of you. I just ask that you remember that love is the greatest treasure life has to offer. Can you just fast forward to the end? Very well. And for this reason, my final wish is that you love one another and use the money I'm leaving you with kindness and love in your hearts. Love, Dad. What are you talking about? Dad didn't leave us a penny. Your father left you both accounts with funds in it, and it was to be kept secret until your mother passed. Oh, great. Great. I mean, how much, how much, how much money are we talking about? There's something you should know. Your father gave your mother the power to change this will if she felt you didn't honor his final request. His final request. Love each other unconditionally. Ah, wait. Our firm has reviewed the legality of Dr. Frank's assessment claiming that your mother was mentally unfit. She was unfit. Not according to the reputable doctors we consulted. So what does this mean? It means that last week your mother changed this will and left you marry. $2 million. What did you just say? <laughs> That's not possible. It's true. And the legality of your mother's decision was confirmed by a reputable doctor as well as a judge. But, I mean, this certainly didn't go the way anyone expected. I mean, Mary, Mary, come on. I know things have been a little tense between us in the last few weeks, but we both know dad would have wanted us to have the money and share it together. How about we go for coffee, I'll pay for coffee, and we both discuss a more fair resolution? You only get one mother, and what you do next will define the rest of your life. There's nothing to discuss, Jacob. Money comes and goes, but family is something you could never replace. You betrayed your own mother for something as temporary as money. You broke her heart. And now you're getting exactly what you deserve. Nothing. This is not over. <laughs>